Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookham here, and today we're going to do a countdown to the most massive arms in men's gymnastics, at least in more recent times. Of course, it is well known that the chin-up and pull-up and dip and all kinds of bodyweight exercises can stimulate fantastic muscle growth, but male gymnastics has to be the best example of the effect of bodyweight exercise on the male physique. These guys hang off the rings and push off parallel bars for hours on end, day after day after day. And the results, I mean, it's just these prime examples of male specimens with enormous arms. Now in this video, I am going to focus mostly on gymnasts from the ring event, because without a doubt, this event leads to the most biggest arms. Enjoy. Starting off in 10th place is Yang Wei, who won silver in the 2008 Olympic Games in the ring event. Although not the most massive gymnast, he has very muscular arms, kind of looks like a jacked Bruce Lee holding his fist of fury up in the air. His other arm, which is extended, we can see the muscle fibers in that bicep are just phenomenal. The vein is there, everything. Man, I mean, he had some pretty fantastic muscularity in those arms. And here he's uh, doing some kind of aerial thing. But again, look at that bicep just pop out as he braces in the air. Damn, amazing arm development on this gymnast, Yang Wei. Next in the countdown, ninth place is Chen Yi Bing, who won gold in the 2008 and silver in the 2012 Olympics, respectively. Even with arms extended in this aerial move, we can appreciate the fantastic muscular development of both his very capped shoulders and very uh, bulky arms. Very, very bulky arms he's got there. You can see that clearly. I mean, his, his arms, his, his shoulders are very, very well developed and relax you know i mean he's relaxed here with these bulging biceps so next he is flying through the air we can see his flexed bicep and muscles just rippling the veins i mean look at the veins <laughs> through the shoulders through the neck through the bicep it's fantastic uh yes i mean especially in this last l hold on the rings as well we can uh, just appreciate again the capped shoulders very well capped very well shaped arms a magnificent gymnast was uh, of course Chen Yi Bing. In eighth place, we have gold medalist of the 2016 Olympics ring gymnastics event, Elefterios Petruinas. I hope I'm saying that not, uh, correctly. Almost in a front double biceps pose, we can see how full his biceps are, and even with a peak reminiscent of the great Larry Scott. I mean, these are Larry Scott like biceps, are they not? On this fantastic athlete. And he is not even clenching his fists. Look at those, <laughs> look at those fingers. They're relaxed. Talk about biceps. In seventh place, next is the massive Matteo Morandi from Italy, who won bronze in the 2012 Olympics in London. Now just look at that bicep peak. And although he is holding the rings, it's almost like he's doing a rear double biceps pose. Wow. Now coming down a bit relaxed, we can see how massive Mattel was in his prime. And on the rings again, massive muscularity in the upper body. Once again in the shoulders, they're very well capped. They are in, in most of these gymnasts. And uh, well-developed triceps, that's also very clear. And those biceps, look at those biceps. They're flexed and split in this extended position. Split. <laughs> He's almost smirking there. And rightly so. Take a bow, Matteo, for taking seventh place in this countdown to the most massive biceps in men's gymnastics. In sixth place, but yet never won an Olympic medal, but looks and trains like a bodybuilder, like a golden era bodybuilder, to be honest, is Brandon Wynn, who was a bit of a cover boy in his heyday. Possessing a very aesthetic physique, he is just standing there, relaxed, you know, take it in people, look at those massive arms, yet he is very, very aesthetic, very aesthetically pleasing physique. Now this guy actually also trained like a bodybuilder. You can see here he is squatting. Uh, and as I mentioned, for a gymnast, uh, this guy had a very, very aesthetic physique, Brandon Wynn. We can appreciate his muscularity in this great photo as well. And also on his cover of Muscle and Fitness here, you would swear that he was in, you know, men's physique bodybuilding category or something. Great abs, great arms, awesome physique on Brandon Wynn. And now moving on to the big boy league. 
known as the Lord of the Rings, in fifth place is none other than one of my idols as a youth, Yuri van Gelder. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Yuri. Yuri was a world champion gymnast from Netherlands, but never won an Olympic medal. But will you look at those peaky biceps reminiscent of the short peaky biceps of the late and great Franco Colombo, two-time Mr. Olympia? Now look at this photo. Here he is on the rings, and even with arms extended, those biceps are just hanging off the bone. <laughs> it's just incredible. Next, here he's uh, holding his medal, again, relaxed, but with a bulging bicep that would rival any competitive bodybuilder. Back on the rings again, and look at those rippling muscles just bursting through your screen. Veins for days. Very aesthetic, yet rather massive for a gymnast. Finally, here he is on the cover of Men's Health. Uh, you know, such was his muscularity, and to be honest, the muscularity of many of these top gymnasts, that they appeared on Muscle Mags, and really that says a lot. Now, I can't possibly do one of these videos without having to mention Ivan Ivankov. In fourth place, I had to put Ivan in. Although not possessing the most aesthetic physique, his biceps were rather gargantuan, and wouldn't you agree from this uh, shot here? You know, he's on the rings, but again, it looks like a fantastic, you know, double biceps from the rear. I mean, it's fantastic. He won fourth place in the 2000 Olympics in the overall and was a very, very popular world champion in his day. We can appreciate the size of his biceps in both this relaxed pose where his, you know, biceps again, I mean, they just hang, don't they? <laughs> and in this victory shot with his arms raised again, that arm, look at that. It's just massive. Those biceps are hanging, hanging off the bone. Now in third place is the massive Donnell Wittenberg, US national and world champion. This guy is like, you know, like the Sergio Oliva of gymnasts. Just look at those massive biceps, not even fully contracted. Wow, just wow, look at them. They're massive, they're like softballs. Here, celebrating after a win, we can appreciate his overall muscularity. I mean, he looks more like a sprinter or something. And here again in this photo, and finally, uh, we can appreciate his aesthetic development in this photo. Uh, complete development, really. Full biceps, triceps are just hanging. Fantastic development on Donnell Wittenberg. Now, after scrolling through the internet today in second place, I had to, I just had to put this discovery that I'd made. Arthur Zanetti, the Brazilian gymnast who won Olympic gold in 2012 on the rings event and silver in 2016. Man, just look at those massive arms. Damn, they just, they must be 18 inches at least. Thick and muscular, huge arms. And those lats, I mean, with that sweep, it's just brilliant. Brilliant muscularity on this man. Oh, wow, these guys' arms are just monstrous, to be honest. And just look at those forearms. Man, I don't know what's bigger, those forearms or his upper arms. This, this photo is just fantastic. It says everything, doesn't it? Insane development. Here again, we can appreciate the phenomenal arms of Artur Zanetti with arms wide open. We can still appreciate his massive muscularity and chalking up and relaxed. That bicep, again, that meat in that bicep just falls off the bone, man. <laughs> Here we have Artur Zanetti again, just hanging around on the rings. Man, his arms and chest are so massive that you can barely see his face. <laughs> and finally, I don't know the names for these movements, but reminiscent again of a crucifix pose, and even more so upside down just to show off. If that isn't enough, check out the peak on those triceps while Artur Zanetti is upside down, almost insulting to the bodybuilder. Unbelievable muscularity of Artur Zanetti. And now in first place, I mean, this gymnast needs no introduction. One of the best well-known gymnasts in history because of his enormous biceps, of course, is Jake Dalton, who represented the US at the 2012 and 2016 Olympic Games. This photo, I believe, went viral a few years back, but let's appreciate the enormous full biceps of Jake Dalton on the rings here with biceps almost as big as his face. I mean, most of these top five guys had biceps and arms that were as big as their face. Marvelous arm development. And yes, Jake 
didn't just do gymnastics, but here he is on arm day, hitting those biceps with some easy bar curls. And did he make gains on arm day? Oh yes, he did. Yes, he did. Just look at those ripped to shreds, arms, veins for days. Man, he should enter classic physique or something. Amazing. In my opinion, Jake takes the top spot. This final photo speaks a thousand words. Massive biceps in proportion to the rest of his physique, like softballs. And his conditioning. He looks like he is ready for a show. Just give him the title already. Bodybuilder like arms. Jake wins. Jake wins top spot in the countdown of gymnasts with the most massive arms. So I do hope you have enjoyed this countdown to the gymnasts with the most massive arms. If you have, please give the video a like and subscribe to the Golden Era Bookworm if you haven't done so yet and leave me your comments. To support my channel, please donate via PayPal, become a patron or visit my website www.goldenerabookworm.com for out of print books and courses on old school bodybuilding. That's it from me. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm saying bye for now. Become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. To support your favorite YouTube channel, please visit teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm for merchandise, including t-shirts, hoodies, face masks, phone cases, and much, much more. Once again, at teespring.com slash store slash golden era bookworm. To take full advantage of my collaboration with Old School Labs, please visit their website and choose from their marvelous range of supplements using my code BOOKWORM12. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo.